Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 23rd, 2020. Well, we've had quite the eventful couple of days. Congress finally got the stimulus bill passed. It landed on the president's desk. The president tossed up his hands and says, this is unacceptable. I want more money in direct payments to the public. Um, I want from six to take it from six hundred up to two thousand dollars per person, and I want Congress to cut all of the wasteful pork belly spending. And he went through a laundry list of that. So now, after we finally, after weeks and weeks of congressional wrangling, we have a stimulus bill, but the president seems unwilling to sign it. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's take a look at our price action of our charts and see how the day is shaping up for this hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning, everyone. Once again, this is going to be kind of an interesting day. The president seemingly rejecting the stimulus bill. And Congress says, hey, we're willing to do it. At least the Democratic side says, hey, we're willing to do it by unanimous consent, raising the direct payments to $2,000 per person. But they haven't said anything about cutting out the pork belly spending. So it's going to be an interesting situation as we head into this end of the year. Um, as they continue to wrangle. I, I mean, if this were a Hollywood movie script written years ago about the events of the U.S. politics in the United States, it would have been tossed in the trash can as too unbelievable. <laughs> but here we are, and um, a pretty interesting situation. While that is going on, we have news out there that hospitals um, around the country are reaching capacity, as these COVID numbers really um, ramp up and those death totals continue to be uh, unbelievably high, honestly. Um, and the market has been so far choosing to ignore those impacts. So what's happened here? Well, yesterday we had a little bit of bearishness here in the Dow. We saw some bearishness uh, as the threats of more lockdowns and restrictions start to come into play. We heard from White House advisors that um, the more um, the strain that is much more um, contagious may already be here in the United States. And um, really lots of concern in um, uh, different areas around the country. How are we going to um, handle this extra capacity if that does occur? So there was a little bit of pullback here, but um, let's take a look here. First off, um, if I draw a trend on here, we're really pretty good. We kind of broke that trend just a little bit on that the other day when we broke down, but notice um, turning right back up, in that chart, we're holding in here pretty well and we're holding on to some price supports in um, the Dow, trying to hang in there with the hopefulness on the stimulus bill. Well, uh, now the stimulus bill's kind of been tossed in the question. And although we were lower overnight in the futures, um, the morning pump up has begun and we are looking at a little bit of a bullish open, at least at the more at this moment, um, with the Dow futures pointing to a 51 point um, um, increase this morning. So kind of an interesting situation. Now, if we look at those technicals, we continue to show that those technicals, we are quite stretched away from those technicals, but they get better and better every day as we continue to stretch and push and shove and work to keep this market up. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, something interesting occurred in the SPY yesterday and notice that the SPY was unable to make a new record high. However, if we look at the NASDAQ itself, the NASDAQ actually printed its 54th record high 
in 2020. Pretty remarkable achievement considering how much we kind of have to ignore the state of the economy right now to um, to put us up there. So pretty interesting situation. Now the SPY certainly is not reaching that level, at least at this point. But we did set that that new record, and notice that we are still relatively separated from our moving averages but it's getting better and better every day as we kind of chop around here and consolidate notice that we're holding on to some support here in this chart and i think as long as we can hold on to that we are in pretty good shape we might want to also keep in mind that our t-line here our eight exponential moving average that are out uh, that our spy average is actually below that t-line it kind of an interesting situation seeing the NASDAQ index itself separated from the SPY like this. But keep a close eye on that. One of the things we don't want to see is that failure of that price level right there. And something I forgot to mention in the Dow, there was a, a battle right here at 30,000 yesterday. I mean, it was a battle. We ended up closing just above 15 points above 30,000 yesterday. But there was a battle uh, at that 30,000. I think that's a pretty important psychological level. So as long as we can hold above that, we'll probably be in pretty good shape. If we happen to slip below that, that would be maybe a little bit of a problem. We could see some swift selling come in if that were the case. Let's take a look at uh, the NASDAQ um, or the QQQ here. QQQ pushing on through, not making that new record high. Um, like the NASDAQ itself did, but pretty um, impressive um, in its moves um, um, nonetheless. And you can see being very, very strong here, holding above some support levels in the chart and maintaining this upside trend solidly. So bulls are in control here without a question in the tech sector. And then on IWM, IWM just absolutely defying gravity here. Um, with the Dow pulling back, it was kind of an interesting thing to see the, uh, the Russell actually continuing to push higher and really um, stretching out this uh, very parabolic move overall in IWM. How much longer that can go, I can't tell you. I, I will tell you that we are getting very far separated from some key support levels and 50-day uh, moving average, so watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at um, the VIX here. And the VIX pretty interesting in this chart. Um, while we're moving up, while the NASDAQ was setting new record highs, we were struggling to um, actually push the NASDAQ down here just a little bit. We did, or the VIX down. We pushed down just a little bit yesterday, showing a little bit of bearishness here, holding underneath this 50-day moving average on the VIX. But it's really interesting to me, uh, we're, we set new record highs, like I said, in the NASDAQ. It's very, very interesting to me to see that we're setting new record highs with nearly a 25 handle in the VIX. I can tell you in, in my entire career, and you can go back in the VIX and try to find a time when we were setting new record highs with the VIX hovering um, in the 20s. Um, it's a remarkable thing that we're seeing right now. So watch that closely. And it also points to the fact how much danger there could be here if that sentiment were to quickly shift. So watch that closely. Right now we're holding below that downtrend and I don't think we have any trouble with that until we pop above and hold that as a support level. Then we could run into trouble. One thing I also want to point out here, though, is right now, technically, we have an uptrend in the VIX. So watch that close. Um, this has that potential to have those explosive moves occur at any time. So make sure you have a plan and be prepared in case that does occur. Let's take a look at um, T2122. Whoops. There we go. T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And when we look at that, we climbed back up here significantly yesterday on that rally back. But we still have upside opportunity here. We could still see us move back up in here. And I got to tell you, this has probably been the longest stretch that I have seen in T2122 in my 30 year career. Um, 
that we have held this high in the T2122 indicator for this long. Uh, pretty remarkable overall. So keep in mind, we do have room to that upside move, but let's keep also keep in mind that tenuous situation where we could easily turn and slip, particularly with the uncertainty now, over that stimulus plan, whether it's gonna get the president's signature or not, how that battle is going to go. Who knows? Um, watch that closely and just keep in mind that we do have a significant open area down here if that sentiment does suddenly turn quickly and painfully. Um, swift that could move us lower so watch closely now let's take a look at t2101 and I gotta tell you the combination um, of these two is really a concern for me uh, and maybe it's not as big a concern for you but it certainly is for me that we are continuing to see t2101 decline as a matter of fact we have broken that little uptrend in t2101 failing so we're having fewer and fewer stocks actually lead the market higher that puts that situation in there that if that if we do shift, if we do shift, it could shift very, very quickly. So make sure you have a plan in place. Make sure you're prepared to protect your profits. Make sure you're prepared to protect your capital in case we do get that news event that turns us much lower. Now, speaking of news events, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And oh my God, goodness, it is um, just absolutely filled with potential market moving events this morning. We have those durable goods orders coming in this morning here at 8.30, followed immediately by jobless claims, personal income, and outlays. All three of those have that ability to move the market. So let's focus on that very closely. Um, um, those could be big events this morning. If we get bullish news out of them, certainly we could continue to drive higher, maybe set some new records today. If we happen to get a stumble in here, and we've had a couple of stumbles here re recently on jobless claims. So watch that closely if that were to occur. And then later on, we've got new home sales, consumer sentiment, petroleum status report, and the natural gas report. I would not expect that natural gas report to really move us at all, but the rest of those do have that potential to move us around. So watch that closely. Now also keep in mind that volume typically declines pretty sharply after about midweek um, heading into the holiday shutdown. So watch that closely. We could start to see volumes begin to get very light real choppy price action could occur after we kind of get through this newsy morning um, on the economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, not much going on there. We have one company that um, um, is somewhat notable this morning. PAYX will be reporting We'll want to be keeping an eye on that. This has been in a beautiful upside bullish trend, breaking through resistance levels, holding up here in a nice consolidation. So watch that closely. There is that opportunity that could push on through and push on higher here. Watch that um, report today. Other than that, there really are no other notables. And there are no notable reports for um, Christmas Eve, Thursday, or Friday. And I want to remind everyone or let everyone know that right way options will be closed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which means there will be no blog tomorrow and there will be no morning market prep video tomorrow. Just um, going to be taking off, enjoying the holiday with family, taking a break. And um, I want to wish everyone out there a very, very Merry Christmas. Be safe, everyone. Um, if you're taking some time off, have a wonderful Christmas. I know it's a weird year, but let's do our best and, um, and have um, celebrations with our family as possible. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you can do me a quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful in your preparation for the day, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button, or I mean that a bell icon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Click that thumbs up button and then also leave a brief comment. That 
that w helps us out a lot, continuing to grow the channel. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. And also, just a special thanks to everyone. Shout out to those who take the time to share this video out on your social media platform. I truly, truly appreciate it. It helps us continue to move along. Now, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and I want to caution everyone that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Make sure you're planning your trades carefully. Make sure that these trades fit you before you make a decision on a trade. There is no good reason to blindly follow someone else's trades. Do your own evaluation of each and every one of these that I show in this video. Let's take a look at some that are starting to perk up and look pretty decent. Take a look at UPS. UPS had a little bit of life in it yesterday, pushing up, as you can see. We have this nice little upside trend moving here. We broke through some resistance in that chart, and we're consolidating that move, and we're challenged by this resistance level right here. We just haven't been able to poke through there with enough energy. Now, we know those shippers are extremely busy over the holiday season, and um, this year, uh, extraordinarily busy. And let's watch that carefully. If we can get enough um, energy in this, we could soon pop this to the upside and see more upside movement here in UPS. Watch that one closely. Look pretty good and as you can see I've placed an alert on that chart um, waiting to see if that can push on through. Nice looking uh, potential here to be paying attention to. Take a look at these steel stocks. Um, Cliff our Cleveland Cliffs looking very, very good, really nice and strong, breaking through um, some amazing resistance levels here in the chart and consolidating that. Look, Notice that no one really wants to sell this chart. Now it is possible this could consolidate considerably longer and really move out here um, to join uh, you know, that trend. That would be a long-term consolidation. But it's also possible that we could change that trajectory of this rally and maybe find those bulls in here and push this on up. Um, so watch that closely. Steel um, holding up very, very strong here in the market, looking very, very good. And we should keep an eye on that. Take a look at uh, Dave and Buster's. Now this one, I got to be honest, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but there's a lot in this market right now that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. First off, you know, this is um, a big restaurant environment, an enclosed place of uh, where adults get, go in and drink beer and play video games. And um, in, in the midst of COVID, it seems kind of remarkable to me that we're bidding these companies up um, when largely these places are, um, uh, are empty and struggling. But that's what's happening here right now. And you can see we have really strong bullish uh, uh, price action in here in Dave & Buster's. Watch that closely to see if that can continue to stretch on out to the upside. Looking pretty good in that price action right now. Take a look at Snap. Snap continues to consolidate here in a very nice, tight consolidation area. Watch this carefully. If this can catch some inspiration for that bullish move, we want to follow that trend to the upside and see if and poke on through. Now, please keep in mind, if that market does shift, this could really easily uh, break that support level and turn rather bearish here. But um, as long as we hold above some support levels and hold above this key support level here, I think there still is that opportunity that Snap could move on through. So watch that closely in that chart. Take a look at Altria. Now, Altria is something I've been watching pretty closely, and I honestly think I would be interested in buying this as a longer term hold, um, largely because of the dividend yield. And I think it would be a stock trade if I do decide to buy this. And you can see we have broken this big major downtrend in the chart. And what we're trying to do right in here is we're trying to consolidate that and prove that we can hold this area as support. Now, as we have kind of chopped our way back over here to this trend, I'm watching this closely to see if we can get some inspiration here on those bulls and try to push that out. I'll be watching that pretty closely. Interesting chart and one to maybe pay attention to, uh, particularly if you like those dividend payers, big strong dividend payer 
here in that chart. Take a look at Caterpillar. Caterpillar continues to hold up in this pattern, just refuses to do much selling. Although we did have a shot of selling yesterday, notice we're holding in on that price support level and we're trying to perk up a little bit today. So if we can hold in this area, and start seeing those bulls come in, we could see that fly on higher here. And speaking of fly, how about Fastly? Got almost, we've got um, a lot of the letters of fly here in the ticker. Um, this, in, in, this is flying high, continuing to move up in this trend. My alert um, um, right uh, place perfectly here, and we just moving on through. And I've mentioned before that we have that potential that we could fill this gap here on Fastly. So there's still upside potential here in that chart. Watch that closely. It's looking very, very good. Take a look at UAA. Now UAA suffered kind of a blow yet yesterday pulling back and I've been watching this closely but just keep in mind that there's really nothing terribly bearish about this move yet as if we can hold in here on this price support and see a little bit of buying coming back in retail's been really really strong it is possible we could hold that and move on higher but we also want to recognize the fact that this is a relatively significant level of resistance and if we're not going to hold it as support we could see UAA begin that breakdown as well so watch that pretty closely one thing I got to tell you guys is keep an eye on the financials. Um, financials have held up extremely, extremely strong. I'm in an XLF position. I'm long the March 26 and I'm short the Gen 30s up here. Um, have a nice profit in that trade. But I'm watching this as we continue to consolidate along this level. We broke through some resistance in that chart. Holding up in here, watching that, it's been amazing to see how resilient these uh, banks are and now that the banks have the have gotten clearance to start buying their own stock again uh, doing stock buybacks we could see those financials continue to remain strong and maybe push on through so watch those carefully so there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to and once again guys i want to remind you that tomorrow right way options will be closed there will be no morning prep video i'm going to be taking some time off with the family and i hope you all do the same Kind of remember that volumes tend to drop pretty substantially. You may end up just doing nothing but trading with the institutional algorithms, and that can be some very, very dangerous trading for most folks. So consider that carefully, plan your risk carefully, and be very, very safe out there on, the, on your holiday plans. I want to wish you and your family a very, very quick Christmas, and we'll see you right back here next Monday. Everyone take care. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you all soon.